Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Inevitably, your presence will be requested in a meeting. When you receive a meeting request, it is important to know how to respond to it. When you receive meeting requests, they will actually appear within your inbox folder as a meeting request. Here you will double click on the meeting request to open it and then decide to click one of the buttons that appears in the toolbar at the top of the meeting request window. Accept, tentative, or decline, or if allowed by the meeting organizer, propose new time. Clicking accept informs the organizer that you will be able to attend the meeting. This will also move the meeting into your calendar. Clicking tentative informs the meeting organizer that you may be able to attend the meeting. The meeting will be moved into your calendar as if you had accepted it. Clicking decline informs the organizer that you will not be attending the meeting. The meeting is not placed into your calendar when you decline the meeting request. If allowed by the meeting organizer, you can also click the Propose New Time button, which allows you to propose an alternative time for the meeting within another dialog box. This will then be sent to the organizer as a new meeting request. They may then change the time to accommodate your availability, or they may not. After choosing which response to send to the meeting organizer, you will see a pop-up dialog box appear. You must choose one of the options presented before you can send your response to the meeting. You have three options. Edit the response before sending, which will open the meeting response dialog box and allow you to add comments to your response. Send the response now, which will send your response as is. Or do not send a response, which will accept or decline the meeting on your calendar, but will not inform the meeting organizer. This is not usually recommended. You will not see this dialog box when you click Propose New Time, which allows you to set a new time and then resubmit a meeting request to the original meeting organizer in a separate dialog box. After making your choice, you can click OK to exit the meeting request in Outlook 2010 or 2007. At this point, the meeting request will be deleted from your inbox folder and the meeting will be entered into your calendar automatically if you accepted it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.